Supplies with Life Tailored, and we talk about style, travel, and everything that makes your life amazing. Make sure to like and subscribe below, and also follow me on Instagram, at Life Tailored. I'm so happy to be recording this video inside with you today, instead of freezing my butt off in that 30 degree weather. Today we were talking about a sponsored post by Barnes & Noble. They sent me over their new Nook to review and to give my honest opinion about it. So the first thing you're going to notice about the new Nook is its 10.1 inch display. So the new display is an IPS display which is designed for optimized reading when you read from it from an extended period of time and also it's going to have great battery life. So to make the most of that 10.1 inch display, they built in Wi-Fi and Google Play Store access. So that means you can download Netflix, Hulu, HBO Go, all that sort of stuff, and watch it seamlessly on your device. I've watched a couple different shows, and it streams just fine. It looks great, and I'm really happy with it. And the new Nook also has these little pogo adapters, which basically allows you to expand the Nook and add on things like a keyboard or other accessories they're gonna develop. And it gives you confidence that if you invest into the device, when new stuff comes out, you can update it with this Nook. So the storage in the device isn't much internally, but it allows you to expand up to 256 gigabytes with a micro SD card. So that means you could put you know, 10, 20, 30 hours of shows on your SD card, load it into your Nook and take it on a family trip, airplane, etc. So the device itself is only $129, but the build quality is really impressive. Every single time I try to take this thing out of the case, it's like a rice grip trying to get it out. So you know if you buy this case, it's gonna really protect your Nook. As you can see, it really holds up in there. Okay, so how is the build quality? So the device itself is really kind of spelt. It's got like a rubber soft back that I wouldn't expect from a $130 device. It's really comfortable to hold in my hand and it's easy to read one-handed, two-handed, or to prop it up and watch a show. I will say that I wish this case could be stood up so I could watch a show at an angle. The one thing I've been using is I got the dock connector and that puts it up at maybe a 45 degree angle so I can prop it up on my computer and watch a show while I do a, do a review or do some work or also keep it by the kitchen so when I'm cooking up a recipe or anything I've got that nice viewing angle. So because the display is IPS and it's kind of optimized for reading and battery life, you're going to get 8.5 hours of battery life out of the device which to me is a really big selling point. Now, once you open up your Nook, the first thing you're gonna see is the Barnes & Noble Nook store. I've never used the bookstore before, but it took me only five minutes to set up an account, and now I get access to their entire library. Barnes & Noble has over a million titles under $4.99, and I was able to find stuff from the New York Times bestseller list, download a bunch of sample copies, read the first chapter, and get an idea of which book I wanna keep and download for my next trip. And then finally, the price. So the price is $129, which is about $325 cheaper than an Apple iPad, than the cheapest iPad, which to me is a tremendous value. Okay, so now let's do a quick breakdown of all the features and I'll let you know what I think about the device itself. So here are the features. So real quick, the Nook has got the 10.1 inch display, which is perfect for streaming Netflix, downloading copies from the Barnes & Noble bookstore. You've got 8.5 hours of battery life, 256 gigabytes of expandable storage, and you've got that pogo adapter to add on a keyboard or stand or any sort of thing like that. $129 price point. And to me, this is really what sets apart the Nook from any other gift. So my typical gift I get for friends or families in that $50 to $150 range, it's gonna make everyone happy. So what I like about this device is anybody you know that likes to read is gonna like this device. Anybody that you know that likes to watch Netflix is gonna like this device. So in my mind, this is a great sort of gift option for anyone on your list. It's not gonna go wrong if you're not gonna break the bank, and I think you're gonna be really happy. So now that we talked about the Nook, let me know if you're gonna buy this for yourself. What are the features that matter most to you? Is it the new big display, the Barnes & Noble bookstore, the Netflix, the expandable storage? Thanks so much for getting to the end of the video, guys. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe down below. I have new videos coming out all the time. And also follow me on Instagram, at Life Tailored. All right, see you guys later.